All right, here is the um, episode three spoiler review, guys, for She-Hulk. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you. If you haven't uh, already subscribed to this channel and you're looking for She-Hulk spoiler reviews or reviews in general, we're going to be doing Lord of the Rings. We're going to be doing Game of Thrones, Andor, Cobra Kai, a bunch of reviews coming out, and fun podcasts and stuff, too. So if you can, help us get to 70,000. We're going to take this show on the road, do comedy shows, do a whole bunch of things. Okay, great. Um, okay. So for people who are just finding this episode for the very first time, I, along with a, a few other people, were able to get the first four episodes of this show, I guess at this point a few weeks back, and then I did a non-spoiler review of the first four episodes, put that up on the channel, shot it all in one day, but I watched each one, and basically what I did was I would do, I would watch an episode, I did my immediate reaction, I put that up, it was a very short video, and then I did spoilers for each one. So here's my spoiler review for the third episode. And as I said in my immediate reaction, I loved the first two episodes. I loved them. thought they were the most brilliant written Marvel shows so far. Um, I liked this one a lot, but I loved the other two. doesn't mean that the show, this episode is bad. It just means that I loved the other two just a little bit more. Why is that? Well, I think that the stuff that they have been doing great, they continue to do that great in this episode. And this one, as it's funny because I'm for a lot of the reasons that I was praising this show is the same reason I'm probably going to say that I like this one a little less. And what I mean by that is this show is very consistent to what it promised it was going to be. And it promised it was going to be Ally McBeal in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And so when there are these episodes where it's going to take a little bit of, uh, okay, there's nine episodes, shorter episodes, but this is the world we play in. Some people, well, there's filler episodes. Not really. It's just this is, it's an episodic show. And this particular episode was about the legal case of, of um, Jennifer basically representing Neil Blonsky and even brilliantly says, oh, look at this, A story meeting B story. And then the other side is the, the ex-co-worker that she used to work with is, is having this beef with um, the new Asgardian who was shape-shifting. There's, it's funny, the show reminds me a lot, a, a very, uh, I don't want to say watered down, that's not the right word, a very m mild, very mild, super mild version of the boys. And what I mean by that is the kind of bizarre wackiness that's going on in the with the superhero powers is happening all over the world now because you remember you go back to like the iron man days and uh, it was this stuff was rare and now we're 15 years or whatever it is into it and it's not rare anymore it happens all over the place there's spaceships flying around there's hulks running around there's abomination tim roth's doing great things too and i think that we're going to get a lot of people because i thought i was going to be one of these people also it's like oh well look what they've doing abomination now he's just kind of the, the the monster that he was and now he's just kind of this broken down old man who now is just wants to get out and, and he promised not to be abomination anymore first of all we don't know if that's the case but second i kind of like the angle that they went with him strangely enough because i didn't think i would of the idea that he is at peace and the fact that wong comes in and says no 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 i broke him out and i you know i shouldn't <laughs> very funny moment when they're like hey you know you just admitted to a crime here and he's like i gotta go and he leaves because the superheroes do have that thing in it. And this is going back to what Ross said. We got to give them some kind of rules because they can do whatever they want. And I think Wong is a, is, is a prime example. He can do whatever he wants. He can't, okay, sure. Yeah, what are you going to do? You, how, how are, how are you going to, how are you going to catch him? You're not, you're not going to catch him. And the idea of her finding Wong and the way that they did it. And they didn't sit on that too long, which is what I dug. Um, this, another one of the kind of silly scenes. And I said this in the, there was some stuff, the humor in general, that I, I thought just overpowered it just a little bit in this episode, just a little. And what I mean by that is I think that the um, it, when when she gets cornered by the the thugs that stole the new Asgardian stuff or whatever it might be, and they're trying to get a sample of her blood for whoever it might be, they're, they're, they were a little goofy. They were a little goofy. I wish they would have been a little bit more of a threat. Like, they didn't need to be comedic in that, in that moment. They could have been a little bit more goofy. I mean, excuse me, a little bit more serious and... The, the situation itself was funny because she's like, oh, I'm scared. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need to be scared. I can kick these guys' asses. Um, and they were just, oh, yeah, I, we did get him from Ex-Guardians. That, 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 that seemed a little bit too, um, too silly on my end, but other people might love it. But still very nitpicky stuff that I'm getting into here because it's more so about Jennifer settling into this role and the idea of what she's able to do and um, – and, and they, they have this whole angle with Megan the Stallion, which I am going to admit, definitely 
someone who is not in tune with the new with people who are singing these days, unless it's the Doors and they're playing it on other things. That's right. I'll date myself. That's all right. Um, didn't know. Thought they made up Megan the Stallion. Uh, apparently they did not. And I don't know, but the music in this show, and they were playing some music. Maybe it was hers. I didn't do enough research on it, but it was really good. The music choices have been phenomenal in this show. And the writing is still great, but the way that they play back and forth. But we're in episode three. And, if I, and I promise you, I've not watched episode four. I'm about to when I shut this camera off. I pr- would probably guess that Daredevil is going to show up in four, if I was to guess, because they're going to start playing that angle. Because I think that... There, there's more to this than just Jennifer representing Blonsky. She did it. She showed what she, what she was, what she did that was good. I mean, really, all she needed to do was get the witness of Wong, and they played that out. Is he going to show up? Whatever the hell he's doing, how that's going to play, and, and he does, and he gets off. And the same thing. And then she, I don't know if they would have let her testify because they work at the same firm, but hey, let it go. I think that's one of the things with this show is there's certain things you can let go because of the tone at all. But I do like how much fun they're having on this show. I like how much fun they're having. And the episodes have been short. I think that's another thing that actually benefits this show. I've said this in the previous reviews. There are some shows that I think could, like I still think Obi-Wan could have benefited with 10 to 15 minutes more each episode. Um, this show I think is at a perfect time. I think from what they're doing and where, the, and, and it's also, I could change my tune on that as well. Because I don't know what the we don't know what the overall story is yet. The main story is that she's settling in. Um, she has checked in with Bruce in the last one. We didn't see him. He's out on out in space right now, so we don't know when we're going to see him again. I guess that was a way for them to also say, "Okay, we don't know what we're doing. We 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 know that this is her show." And there was a great moment that I loved, absolutely loved it. When they bring in Wong, and she says, I know, I know, you're excited to see Wong, but this isn't going to be one of those shows that it's a cameo every episode. Well, except Bruce. And then Wong, and then, all right, maybe it will be. And I think it will be. And that's the, that's the beauty of it. She says, but don't forget who show this is. And I love that. I love that. Oh, and the other stuff that they did so well, the way that they played the internet stuff of, of when, when people were talking about, it, and, and it's, you've seen it. You've seen it, and, you, and some of you may have written it. And they're like, well, wait a minute. They're taking Hulk's powers away from him, and now it's just it's this, it's this all the men heroes are gone, and it's all about women. I mean, meta stuff. Meta stuff, and they played it. Well, and now, come on. Even if, you, even if you decided that you hated the show because of all that particular stuff, you got to give them credit for it. It was, it was such a great meta joke, and the way that they played it, and the way that they're going right after it, Come on, got to give respect because that was a that was a that whole thing, the whole segment of the YouTube stuff and the comments and the back and forth and the commentary in general. Because we've seen it, guys, we've seen it. And whether or not you you, you did it yourself, you got to tip your cap and don't just get angry about it and go, oh, they're making fun of me. Come on, tip your cap on that one because that was a good one. I I thought so anyway. I think the writing was pretty damn good on this show anyway. But like I said, least favorite episode out of the three, but. Very surprised at how much I'm loving this show. Um, and for the only reason, because I didn't like the trailers for that much. I thought the trailer, I, I thought we were getting a very, I thought we were going to get hammered with the amount of goofy, silly humor that nothing was going to be taken serious. And when they pitched it as Ally McBeal, I got it right away. It's been consistent since the opening frame of the show. So anyway, what'd you guys think of the episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed, please do it. Let's get to that road. 70,000, we're almost there. Well, we're not almost there, but we should be there hopefully by December. We hope that you'll, you'll be on that road with us. Um, I don't know at this point if I've made my announcements. I'm sure that I have, but I don't want to jinx it in case I haven't. You've probably seen another thing. So you, you, I'm, I'm coming from the future here. Like I said, I've seen, they sent four episodes. I shot them all. I wanted, I wanted to stay fresh on all this stuff, so I did. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that's coming down the pike on this channel. So hopefully you, you, you're joining us and you're enjoying it. All right, that's She-Hulk. That's episode three, episode four coming soon. And one through four, my non-spoilers have already been up on this channel. So I hope you've enjoyed that. But now spoiler episodes coming. And um, I hope you're enjoying the show the same way I am. I want to hear your thoughts. Comment, please. Let's get, to, let's get to 500 comments today. Can we do that? If you're watching it, let's get to 500 comments. If not, you're dead to me. Well, that's not true. That's all right. I'm very nice. 